It's time to get my groove back. Well, on the drums, like, like drumming groove, what, whatever, roll the video. Welcome back to Progress Not Perfection, the channel where I challenge myself to prove that it's never too late to try something new or to improve on something you already do. Now, today's episode, I'm going to be challenging myself to get back into drumming. And if you're anything like me, you play the drums over the years throughout your life, but over time you've let the rust build up and your chops just aren't where they used to be. Now, if you're new to drumming, this video is also helpful to you because I've come up with a plan that starts with the basics and you should always start with the basics. So there's a few things that you'll need. First, drumsticks. Most important thing you could have is drumsticks. It's critical to playing the drums. Next, you'll need some kind of a practice pad uh, drum set setup. Either it could be an acoustic drum set, an electronic drum set. I have a practice kit that's basically practice pads, but you need something to represent your drums. Then last, you need a metronome. Now I'm going to use a phone app because there's a lot of options out there for Android phones and iPhones that have some have metronome features uh, already available to you. So if you can get one of those, that'll be perfect. Next is the practice routine. I'm gonna be practicing for 20 minutes every day, seven days a week for 30 days. Each session is going to begin with a period of stretching and warming up, so I'm nice and loose and limber and ready to go. I'll be focusing on single stroke rolls that I'll be alternating between my right and my left hands while also including my feet. This way everything develops together towards this goal of speed and control. Lastly is the test. We have to create a baseline. That way at the end of the 30 days, I can then repeat the same test and see how much progress I've made. The first test will be just to see what my threshold is. I'll ramp up the beats per minute until I hit a point where I can no longer maintain form control. I'm lagging on the tempo with the metronome and you can just tell it's kind of falling apart. Then. For the second test, I'll reduce whatever that threshold was by 10 beats per minute, and then try to play for as long as I can the single stroke roll exercise until I've reached my limit in time. Then, having the baseline, I'll rehearse for the next 30 days, and after 30 days, I'll do the same test, and I'll see if I've improved. Now, I know what you're thinking. Andrew, the single stroke roll is so easy, it's so basic, blah, 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 boring, boring, boring. It's like, but hear me out on this. It is the foundation of drumming. Everything derives from the single stroke and you just build from there. It's, it's the veggies, the fiber in your diet. It's, it's the healthy thing that you need, even though it might not be what you want. So I strongly suggest that wherever you are, if you're like me or if you're a beginner, you start with these basic things and build from that. It's time to set that baseline. I got my sticks, my metronome, and I got my practice pad over there. All right, I'm gonna see you over the practice kit. Let's get this baseline done. Okay, I got my sticks, practice pads, and I got my metronome. What I'm using here is the Soundbrenner uh, phone app for my Android device. So here it is, I've set it to 100. Yeah, 100 beats per minute, and we're doing it as eighth notes.
All right, I'm gonna turn it up five beats per minute because this is manageable. All right, five beats per minute. It's 105 beats per minute. Okay, I can handle it. It's starting to fall apart, but let's go up to 110. Because ideally, I want to be able to easily play 120 beats per minute. Because that's where I was before uh, I took them multiple years off. Okay, so I'm at 120 beats per minute now. I think my hands can go another 20 beats per minute higher. My feet, on the other hand, all I'm doing is, is I'm basically trading off quarter notes on my feet and my legs are getting exhausted. So I'm gonna stop here. I'm gonna dial it back down to 110. And now I'm gonna try to play this for as long as I possibly can. Okay. Well, I hit the three minute mark and like I expected, my legs are actually causing me a lot of soreness. My arms could probably go on forever. A few things to point out is, although we're doing single stroke, if you happen to have the ability to represent multiple parts of a drum, especially if you have something like this contraption by DW, which is basically a practice drum kit, it, allows you to um, then practice across the whole kit. All right, bass line is in the bag. Now it's just time for me to put in the work. I'll be back in 30 days with the results to prove that it's about progress, not perfection. If you found this video entertaining or helpful, please leave a comment and subscribe. All right, thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time.